O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise for ever. From the deep waters of death you brought your people to new birth by raising your Son to life in triumph. Through him dark death has been destroyed and radiant life is everywhere restored. As you call us out of darkness into his marvellous light, may our lives reflect his glory and our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 47 Clap your hands together, all you peoples. O sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the shout of triumph. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The nobles of the people are gathered together with the people of the God of Abraham. For the powers of the earth belong to God, and he is very highly exalted. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. reading from Deuteronomy chapter 10 beginning at verse 12. So now, O Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you? Only to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments of the Lord your God and his decrees that I am commanding you today for your own well-being. Although heaven and the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord your God, the earth and all that is in it, yet the Lord set his heart in love on your ancestors alone and chose you, their descendants after them, out of all the peoples as it is today. Circumcise them, the foreskin of your heart, and do not be stubborn any longer. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome, who is not partial and takes no bribes, who executes justice for the orphan and the widow, and who loves the strangers, bringing them with food and clothing. You shall also love the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. You shall fear the Lord your God, him alone you shall worship. To him you shall hold fast, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise, he is your God, who has done for you these, th these great and awesome things that your own eyes have seen. Your ancestors went down to Egypt, seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as numerous as the stars in heaven. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, into an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled and unfading, kept in heaven for you, who have been protected by the power of God through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. You were ransomed from the futile ways of your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, like that of a lamb without spot or stain. Through him you have confidence in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set on God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. 
A reading from the book of Ephesians, chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children, and live in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. But fornication and impurity of any kind, or greed, must not even be mentioned among you, as is proper among saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly and vulgar talk, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no fornicator or impure person, or one who is greedy, that is, an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes on those who are disobedient. Therefore do not be associated with them. For once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what such people do secretly. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible. For everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Sleeper, awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. This evening, I'm going to invite us to pray for those things that are very much connected to our parish. Um, so much of the life of our parish has changed over the last couple of months, um, but we're still connected to these things, and I just want to lift these things up to prayer, um, up to God in prayer. So let's pray. Oh God, first, I want to pray for the worshipping communities of St. Catherine's and St. Andrew's. Lord, we pray for our online services. We pray that they would be opportunities for us to worship you, but to do it as a body together. We pray for our Zoom coffees afterwards, that there would be an opportunity for us to touch base with one another. I pray particularly for those members of our worshipping congregation that cannot access online. And Lord, we pray that you would enable us to never forget them, but always continue to reach out to them, both through phone calls and providing them with resources so they continue to worship and grow as disciples of you. We pray for those members of our worshipping community that are not part of our Sunday congregations. We pray particularly for the members of Open Hands. We just pray for your blessing on those people, wherever they are and whatever's going on. We just pray, Lord, that you give them your strength and your understanding, that they know that you are with them even in the midst of all this. We pray for the members who come along to our family services at St Swithams. We just again pray for your blessing on those families. There's a relationship was only just beginning and now we've had to stop. We just pray for your real um, blessing on those families. Lord, we pray for our community centres. We pray for St Catherine's Community Centre. We continue to pray for those services that we've had to stop. We think of our elderly daycare and we thank you, Lord, um, 
for the wisdom of keeping them safe and pray that you would continue to keep them safe. We pray, Lord, that you'd help us to know how to help them as we continue to stay in contact, as we continue to provide food where it's needed, as we continue to provide whatever support we can under the very sensible and needed restrictions that are around. We pray for those other things in our centre, for the Nourishment Cafe that's had to close. We pray for um, the work of sustain and thinking forward that again has had to come to a stop. And we pray particularly for those people that they helped with mental health issues where all this anxiety is going to be adding to it. And we just pray, Lord, that you'd give them a sense of peace that passes all understanding. And Lord, we continue to pray for St Catherine's in the work it continues to do. We pray, Lord, that you would enable us to be a community centre that can know how to help in this time. We pray for the food parcels that are going out, for the shopping that's being done, for the prescriptions that are being picked up, for the dog walking that's happening, for all those things that we are doing in order to help. Lord, we just pray for your blessing on the centre as it continues to work hard to bring your light to that community. Lord, we pray for the St Swithin Centre over on Eastmore for the Eastmore Community Project. And thank you for the amazing work that's done there. And we just pray, Lord, that you'd help us to continue to support that work where we can. Lord, we pray for those groups that have had to stop, for groups like GEM, for the nursery, for um, other community groups. We just pray, Lord, that wherever those people are, you would be with them and you'd help them to see a sure hope that's with you. And Lord, we pray for the way that the St Swithin Centre has really just flourished as um, it's sought to help those people on Eastmore. We thank you for the food that's coming in, for the way they're delivering food parcels. Lord, I just want to give you thanks as I went in the other day and just saw how they set out all the food there so they can, um, like almost like a supermarket in the middle of St Swithin's to get that food out. And Lord, I just thank you for that, Lord. And I pray for your continued support of that work and that they would be put in touch with those people that need them most. Lord, I thank you, Lord, for the way that the council has supported both those centres and other community hubs around Wakefield and just pray for your blessing on all of those hubs, whatever they're going on. Lord, I pray for the schools in Wakefield, but I pray particularly for the ones that we have strong contact with. We pray for St Mary's School. We pray for Sandal Magna School. We pray for Park Hill School, where we have governors and just pray Lord for those staff there who are seeking to care for the children of key workers but also to care for those children that aren't in school at the moment but may still need support and education and I just thank you Lord for the way that teachers have adapted to a whole new world so quickly and just pray for your blessing on them for your sustaining of them praying particularly for the teachers and the head teachers Lord, I pray for those places where we support in chaplaincy ways. I pray for the hospice, who have obviously had to close their doors for very good reasons and be really tight on security. But I pray, Lord, that you'd help us to find a way to continue to spiritually support Wakefield Hospice where it's needed. And I just continue to pray for the staff there, for each and every one of them, that you'd give them that strength as they make sacrifices to continue that vital work. Lord, I pray for the Langley House Trust, um, for the male ex-offenders that they continue to support. And Lord, again, keeping everyone inside is going to be a real challenge. But I pray for the clients there and the staff. And we pray, Lord, that you'd help us to help them where we can. And just pray for your blessing on all those that need to make decisions, particularly the management, I think particularly of Rob there, just bless him and, and um, Julia and Kerry and the rest of the staff. Lord, we pray for Coactive Arts and pray, Lord, that you'd continue to help them as they support those with um, mental disabilities and learning difficulties. Thank you, Lord, for their work and thank you, Lord, that they have already started to figure out and put stuff in place so they can support their members even while they can't physically get together. Lord, as we pray for all that we are involved with in a parish and so much that has happened and is falling apart and, and 
We've had to change and adapt in all sorts of ways. We just pray, Lord, that you would lead us forward, that you would turn us more and more into the church you call us to be. For all these organisations and all those who support them, we pray for your blessing. Now and always, in your name we pray. Amen. Collect for today. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, Raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above, where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah.